Alrighty boys, so we are back here on some more blue and tower defense battles too. And so this video today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is a newer strategy that I have recently been running. And I'm not going to lie, I've been on the biggest losing streak ever. I know I've said that in like my last couple of videos, but like I'll find a strategy and it'll work for like five or six games and then I'll lose like 10 games in a row with it. I don't understand why. So hopefully that does not happen in this video here today. But the strategy that we're going to be working with is going to be the wizard. I'm going to be using Gwendolyn, the boomerang and the farm. So I'll explain the strategy a little bit more. Uh, as soon as I hop into a game, which we will jump into right now. All right, so we are here in game number one. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get Gwendolyn down here uh, first. Now, this isn't like, the best map in the entire world, not gonna lie, uh, but we should be okay. We should still be able to make this work, which I'm not too worried about. Uh, the only thing that I am a little worried about if we get down to it is if my opponent rushes me really hard with moabs on round like 17 or 18 that could make things a little bit tough but we're gonna see if we can we're gonna see if we can go for the defend because with this strategy essentially what i'm doing is uh rushing my opponent with a zomg as soon as round 21 becomes available uh, and then if he ends up rushing us with the ZOMG, we should be okay to defend. Now, depending on the map, it can be a little bit difficult, uh, but we're going to have a lot of money come round 20, 21, 22 ish. And we're actually going to have the ability to potentially send two ZOMGs to my opponent. So I have not had to come, I haven't had to come down to that just yet. Uh, but the one thing I don't want to do is allow my opponent to send me a ZOMG first. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. And like I said, we're going to have more than enough defense to, you know, stop at least like regular Moabs and stuff that come through. So I'm not, you know, I'm not too, too worried about that. So what I do want to do is anytime I start talking or recording a video, like I lose focus on my game so bad. So I want to be sending pink balloons here. So it should be okay. We should be okay. God, I'm gonna set Gwendolyn's fireball. I'm actually gonna set her fireball. Actually, yeah, we'll keep it back here a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get my farm. Oh, we need one more banana. Don't think we're gonna get it. He's already face palming me for some reason. Interesting. Okay, we'll see what he's all about. Uh, I don't know why he. I don't know what he's doing. We're okay. We're good. We're good for the time being here. Uh, so yeah, with the strategy, Gwendolyn. Uh, we're gonna be using, like I said, the wizard as well, and farm and boomerang. A wizard is mainly going to be like camo detection and then we're also going to be using the middle path wizard uh to help us with some moabs if need be uh, another thing the wizard's going to help us with too is going to be ceramics just because the uh, boomerang is not the best when it comes to ceramic balloons like popping ceramics so if my opponent gets really aggressive and rushes me uh, and say like you know some middle uh some like mid game round we can quickly upgrade to a middle path wizard and it's going to be able to shred everything uh, because the boomerang here will be able to stop any purples that come through. So I'm not worried about the purples because you guys have to remember uh, any fire ability cannot pop purple balloons. So many people do not know that. Like I can't tell you how many people I've killed uh, when they all they have is like Gwendolyn and a ring of fire or something. Like the purple, the, the fires cannot pop purple balloons. So from here, what we're going to do is go for our banana plantation. Good, good. Uh, I do want to keep going with black balloons here. And then I want to try. So this isn't, I'm not, hopefully this works out like, okay. I want to get my wizard down like right here. So this is going to be our bottom path wizard. So this is going to be our shimmer. Uh, but I'm really hoping the necromancer balloons can like start spawning in the back over here. Maybe what I could do is just do the, uh, maybe this is what I'll do. I'll go for, let me see. So I don't necessarily have to go for the Necromancer just yet. If he rushes me with purples, that's fine. Let's do this. All good there. Beautiful, beautiful. Good attempt, buddy. Uh, so I'm going to go Necromancer. I'm going to let the, I'm going to do this too. Yeah, so, okay. If you guys did not know, if you do a, uh, like a 204 like this, you can pick where you want the necromancer balloons to start so issue with this right now is we obviously don't have a farm down so that kind of sucks uh, but what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start farming here again let's go ahead and build this back up now i don't need this wizard or i'm sorry i don't need the boomerang you can just keep it on the glaive ricochet for the time being just so i can build up my banana plantation here as quick as possible i'm gonna go ahead and clear this just because okay so so far we're in a decent spot our eco is atrocious which kind of sucks uh, I'm going to try to go for another farm here too. Now, I might be getting greedy here because like I said, if he sends me a bunch of Moabs, we are not going to be in a very good spot. So we have to be somewhat careful with that. And with that being said, I actually think I'm going to do another wizard right here. 
This will be our middle path. We'll go Dragon's Breath on this one. Hopefully we can make this work. This is a really short map, really small map. So this will be a real test, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm actually going to set you to strong as well. I really don't even think I need this boomerang here. At least not yet. Uh, what I might end up doing is deleting this boomerang and going for a middle path one. If I absolutely have to. So round 17 is here. I do want to see if he rushes me or not. Yep. Oh my gosh, we somehow stopped that. I have no idea how we stopped that because I didn't even get my middle path down. Yeah, see the do the freaking this middle path wizard is so good against ceramics. It's insane. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my boomerang here though. Dang, this sucks though because our farm game is terrible. I'm gonna try to keep farming. I'm assuming he's probably just going to try to continuously rush us here. What I might end up doing is just sending him a fortified BFB. Yeah, so this kind of sucks. Bye! What the, the boomerang sold me, man? He didn't do anything. Okay. Alright, that's fine. We were I was intentionally going for the defend on that, so I'm okay with that loss. Uh I think we easily could have killed him if we just bombarded him with um because he didn't even stop the one mob that I sent through. So all good there. I am gonna try to jump into another game here though. Alright, so I'm gonna take you guys right on through here uh in game two, just because this is actually another really hard map. Uh, but I did get the strategy to work on this map, and it worked out really, really well for me. So we're going to try to do it again here. And again, I know I lost the last game, but uh, I don't want to say I purposely lost it, but we very, very, very easily could have won that game. I was just intentionally trying to go for the defend on that. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, it's it's all good. Uh, I feel like every single time I lose a game with this, whether it's this strategy or any other strategy, uh, really all it is is just like, this is going to sound so like cliche and adult like of me uh but it's just like a learning lesson like you just figure out what works and what doesn't work type thing so you know we learned from that we can't defend what was that like four moads or something uh but like i said it's all good it's all good so what i'm gonna do here is one more go around on my eco and i'm gonna go for my glaive ricochet perfect uh he's rocking the buccaneer ship and it looks like he's got gwendolyn as well buccaneer ship's pretty good on this map uh, i did play against one other opponent on this map the time that I did play this map with this strategy, and my opponent did have the Buccaneer ship. I don't remember what else he had. He had something else too, but it did not uh, did not work out well for him in the end. So, which is all good. Uh, as long as he continuously group egos me like this, we should be able to go right on and start farming. Perfect. And all I'm doing the whole entire time is just space ecoing. Like zero grouped ecoing unless I see an opportunity to go for the kill. It's the only time I will group eco. So he's got double Buccaneer down. Go ahead, go for this. We're probably going to leak some lives here. We're going to go for our red hot rings in just a second. Oops. So I'm going to go for that right now. Uh, he tower boosted, I think. Trying to get used to using some of my hotkeys on here. I feel like I don't use my hotkeys enough, uh, but I'm so bad with that keyboard. All right, we are definitely going to have to tower boost that as well. Probably didn't have to actually tower boost that. I should have just used the firebomb, but whatever. Okay, and as long as the balloons are coming from this way, like so, we should be fine. Uh, it becomes somewhat of an issue when the AI balloons get involved. That's what I don't like. It's one of the reasons why this map is so challenging. Uh, but again, we should be okay. We're going to let, damn, another blue leak. All right, maybe I should try to go for a wizard here now. Uh, I'm going to set you to strong too. So we're going to lose out a little bit on our plantation, but I think we should be fine. I really don't want to have to use level 3 ability again, though. So I always like to get my plantation on around 8. That is always my goal. So it looks like we got it here still. No! Get those yellows, please. All right, all right. We're still doing okay. We're still doing okay. Uh, my opponent's got three buccaneer ships down. Yeah, so I used the firebomb there just because he... Uh, obviously sending me zebras, which is not going to be very fun. Good, so we're coming up to round 10. So I'm actually, I'm going to play this a little bit slower here. I'm, I mean, we could probably go for the rush, but I'm going to go right in for the Necromancer. 
And then I'm going to wait and see if he rushes me. If he rushes me, that's fine. I'm just going to sell my farm. And we're just going to go for a top path uh, boomerang. I'll let him rush me if he wants to. Hopefully with the Necromancer, though, we should be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Okay, so I'm actually not going to send rainbows here. I'm just going to go right for another farm. Level three this too. Okay, so we're going to go double plantation. So again, same thing. If he decides to rush me here, what we can do is just go for the top path... Uh, more glaives and we'll be perfectly fine. Uh, I might actually even go for a wall of fire here too. Oh, he can't even pop leads. Maybe his bottom path one can. Is he dead? Oh yeah, I think he's okay now. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go right in for another farm here. We're gonna go 202. And then just to play it a little bit safe too, I think I'm gonna start to get my next wizard down. We'll go like right here. This will be our middle path wizard. Again, I know my eco is not the greatest, but that is okay. Right now, what I'm trying to do is save up for that marketplace. Uh, he is fully hard ecoing right now. So I'm wondering if he's going to be aggressive at any points or not. Because I truly have no idea. See, there it was. He just tried to get super aggressive, which is fine. Alright boys, so here we are, round number 10 in our next game, and I swear, like I told you at the beginning of this video, I swear, I do so good with the strategy, and then as soon as I start recording, I just, I can't get a win. This has happened in the last, like, five days probably, and like, I get it, like, I don't really care that much about losing, like, I don't care about posting a video where I lose, like, I'm not, like, you know, it's not like that, but it's frustrating when, like, there's a strategy that, you know, I'm trying to showcase or something, and I just can't get it to win or I can't get it to work for whatever reason. And it's just, it's really freaking annoying. As he literally just tried. I guess that works. Okay, you know what? I'll take the win. Even if he surrenders, I will take the win. But I promise you, we are going to get a decent game here. Uh, so I'll jump into at least one more. All right, boys. So here we are in our next game. We're currently on round five. So I didn't want to take this one too, too late before I actually started the video. Uh, but we do have our boomerang down. We got our farm down and we're rocking Gwendolyn as well. So I'm going to go for our... I'll uh, probably toss this here. Uh, I don't necessarily like... It's not like the big, like the, the the craziest thing in the world if we leak lives, but if I can avoid it, I'm gonna avoid it. So, oh yeah, it looks like my opponent's gonna be rocking with the Dartling Gun, and he's gonna be rocking with Obin as well, which I don't understand why people use Obin if they're not using the Druid. Like, I mean, I guess maybe he could still be using the Druid, I don't know. Uh, but normally you put the Druid down first. Uh, it's just, I just don't think Obin's like a very good hero unless you're using the Druid. I mean, unless like I'm wrong about that. You guys can correct me in the comments below, but I just, I don't think he's very good. That's just my own opinion. So we're just gonna be chilling here uh, for the time being. And all I'm gonna do is try and go for that plantation here next. Beautiful. We got it on round seven, which is actually pretty good. Uh, like I said, normally I like to get it by the end of round eight. If I can do that, then I'm in a pretty good spot. So from here, what we're gonna do is just simply save up and go for our uh, wizard. Now, hopefully, so I want to put my wizard right next to Gwendolyn here, but I want to, again, I want the Necromancer Bloons to spawn behind Gwendolyn. So hopefully they do. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead, get my wizard down, put him right here. Let's go for our bottom path. Okay, so I'm going to chill out right now with the eco. We should be okay for the time being. Uh, round 11 is here. Let me go ahead and go for the Necromancer. Let me see where they start to spawn. Okay, so they are spawning in the back. So that is nice. I do like that. I wasn't 100% sure where they were going to spawn, but definitely like in the back. Uh, so again, I don't think I'm going to go for... I do. I, I am going to go for a wall of fire. It's because I am a little bit nervous if he rushes me hard here. I'm not sure what his plan is going to be. Uh, I'm going to send some purples his way, though. I want to see if maybe we can't get like a tower boost or something out of this. Because he doesn't have his HRP yet, so... Is he dead to this? That's not the game I wanted. All right, so here we are. Round six is upon us. And we have our farm down. We got our Gwendolyn and our boomerang. So we're chilling in a pretty good spot. 
Uh, this is... Oh, never mind. I was just gonna say, it's kind of nice because he was group ecoing us, so we didn't have to actually go for our bottom path upgrade on the boomerang for a while. Uh, but we just did have to because he sent us a bunch of yellows there. So, all good, all good. Uh, and then again, what we're gonna do from here is just save up and go for that uh, banana plantation as quick as I can. Uh, we should have enough after one more income here. Perfect. So we got that. Good, good. So again, I'm just going to continuously eco my black balloons here. Uh, just so we don't over eco by any means. Uh, I have Gwendolyn. Actually, now I do. I have Gwendolyn's fire bomb set to our fire fireball, whatever you want to call it, uh, set towards the back of the map here. Uh, so we're in a pretty good spot right now. Looks like he's going to be rocking with the ninja. I'm wondering if the ninja is going to be his one and only camo detection, because if it is, uh, it's not the best option, I'll tell you that much. Uh, he's still ecoing really, really hard, so uh, I'm a little bit confused. I'm not sure what his plan is. I'm going to stop ecoing here. I don't know if he's going to try and rush me or not. So again, if he does, I'm just going to delete my farm and go for my more glaives. Uh, so, okay, don't use the ninja as your only form of camo detection. It's just, it's not the greatest. Uh, he does, okay, so he does have a flash bomb. A flash bomb's a little bit better, I guess. I'll give him that much. Uh, I wonder, though, I might, I still would probably be able to get him on camo purples. Not sure, maybe not. I might not be able to. He actually might be okay. Uh, I don't want to necessarily go for the kill, though. Not yet. Just because I do want to take this at least somewhat late game. I'm not sure if this is the same opponent I played last game. I don't remember what his name was. But I thought it was possibly Cyan Rabbit. I can't remember for sure though. Uh, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go for another plantation here as quick as I can. So I'm going to chill out a little bit on the ecoing. Uh, let's just get 2600 right here. Perfect. Okay, good, good. So if you were to send me ceramics here, uh, I actually don't know how well we would do. Uh, I think we would be fine because our Necromancer can help out with the ceramics. We can always use the Firebomb uh, from Gwendolyn as well. Uh, but like I was saying before, like the Boomerang Monkey is not very good against ceramics. So not good against ceramics, not the greatest against like Moabs and stuff either. Or like the insides of Moabs, obviously, which is ceramics. Uh, so you do have to be careful with that if you ever are using the Boomerang. So uh, from here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go for our Marketplace. And then I'm just trying to save up and get that BRF, the Banana Research Facility, as quick as I can. Uh, maybe we'll do... I'm not sure if it's best to go for, like, three farms, two farms. Okay, so from here, I think we should be okay with this. Yeah, that might have been a little overkill, but whatever. Should still be fine. I'm going to try to go for one more marketplace here. So we got four, eight, uh, 11. Uh oh, okay, dude, come on, bruh. Are we good on this? I don't even know if it's worth like to sell these. Let's go for the BRF. That's annoying, but whatever. Okay, so we had our, we were able to defend, obviously. This is all good. I do need to go for the more valuable bananas here too. Yeah, that's another thing when I'm, whenever I'm farming, I don't ever go for the more valuable bananas unless I have the BRF. Again, I don't know if that's the play or not, uh, but we make it work. So from here, what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put our, okay. That's so annoying, man. Whatever. You know, I actually think I'm just going to send him a ZOMG here. I'm just going to try to solidify this and go for a ZOMG because there's no way he's going to have enough money to send me one. Not after sending all of those Boabs. So I'm going to send him this. Can get another Phoenix down, which we should be fine with. I get a boomerang in the back here just in case. Yeah, we should be fine against these. I'm not worried about this at all. Beautiful. Yeah, he's dead though. Good game, buddy. Woo! 
Oh no, I deleted the wrong. I deleted my wizard on accident. Awesome. Yeah, nice try though. GG's. Oh my goodness. All right, we actually got a good defend there, bro. That actually ended pretty well. He got really aggressive with us, and we actually survived that. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, the strategy is fantastic. And the whole idea, the whole goal is to just send my opponent a ZOMG. Uh, if he gets aggressive with you and sends you like Moabs or BFBs or anything like that, you can always just go for the middle path wizard and like you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, if need be, you can also do a middle path boomerang as well just to clean up a little bit. Uh, and then using Gwendolyn, she has her level 10 ability as well, typically by like round 20 or 21 ish, which helps a ton. Uh, and you can always just sell the farm, you know, so uh, I do really like this strategy a lot. I've had a lot of success with it. And I would say it was a pretty successful video here today. I know I did lose a couple of games. Dude, I think it was, what was it? The second one was so, so close. Uh, but the first game, we pretty much just went for the full defend completely. And I easily could have won that game. Uh, I know I'm just kind of making excuses, but I'm 99% sure I could have won the game. Oh, uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you've used anything like this before. Uh, and if you guys liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.